Hi there, I'm Mr Omer from Entrust Music and this is the first in a series of videos designed for all those pupils who've started playing a string instrument this year in school in your class. It doesn't matter whether you play violin or viola, here's a chance for you to remember a few of the important skills on your instrument. We're going to start off today by getting our instrument from rest position into playing position. This is really important to make sure we're standing properly and are relaxed. So make sure you're standing up straight with your knees slightly bent and your instrument under your right arm with the back of your instrument against your side. Notice I'm not using the bow yet so if you've got it in your hand, just pop it down by the side somewhere safely. I'm going to give you an action to do, and I want you to copy what I do, saying the words too afterwards. So, here we go. Thumbs up. Top of the neck. Wiggle your fingers underneath. Wiggle your fingers underneath. Slide it down. Down. Hold it out, hold it out, upside down, upside down, and under your chin, under your chin. How did you get on with that? Let's do it one more time, but remember you can pause, rewind, and repeat any of the video as we go along so that you can go on at your own speed. So, one more time, here we go. Thumbs up, thumbs up, top of the neck, top of the neck. Wiggle your fingers underneath, wiggle your fingers underneath. Slide it down, slide it down. Hold it out, hold it out. Upside down, upside down. And under your chin, and under your chin. So hopefully you feel relaxed and ready to do some playing. Let's do some copying back on your instrument. First of all, plucking, and then later on perhaps we'll do some with a bow. You'll hear a drum beat to start off with, and then I'll make up some patterns of long and short sounds for you to copy back straight after. I'm only going to use the G, D and A strings, but you need to think carefully about which strings those are on your instrument. If you're playing violin, then you're not using the thinnest E string on the right hand side. And if you're playing viola, then you're not using your C string on the left hand side of your instrument. So starting on the G, here we go. My turn first. On the D. And finally on the A. Hopefully you did really well there, but if not, don't worry, you can always have another go. So we've just played some patterns of long and short sounds. Or to use the proper word, we've just played some rhythms. Try to remember this little sentence. A rhythm is a pattern of long and short sounds. Can you say that with me? Here we go. A rhythm is a pattern of long and short sounds. Let's try plucking that pattern on our instrument. So get our violin or viola up into playing position. Thumbs up, 
onto the edge of the fingerboard and let's try plucking that rhythm first of all on the A string. Get ready, after four, one, two, three, four. A rhythm is a pattern of long and short sounds. How about on the D string? After four, one, two, three, four. A rhythm is a pattern of long and short sounds. And finally, let's give it a go on the G. Thumbs up again, edge of the fingerboard. One, two, three, four. A rhythm is a pattern of long and short sounds. So next we're going to put our instruments down and pick up our bows. You might find it better to sit down for this activity. First, we'll have a quick reminder of our bow holds. If you want more help and practice on how to hold your bow, then you can look on the Entrust Music YouTube channel where you can find a video with more detailed instructions. Taking our bow in our right hand, let's hold it vertically, that's straight up. Resting it on our right knee, let's make sure that at first of all our thumb is nice and bendy and our little finger is nice and curvy and on the wood of the stick. Let's bounce our bows gently up and down on our knee. Try it in time with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so while we bounce our bows, we're going to sing a little song that goes like this. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going very soon. Then we count down from five like this. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we blast off. Let's put it all together while we bounce our bows on our knees. Here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going very soon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. So I think it's time now to get our violin and our bow and use them together. I'm standing up for this part of the lesson so I can use lots of bow. I've got my violin in rest position, but I'm going to check my bow hold is still nice. So you can do this with me. You can check that our thumb is bendy and that our little finger is on the top of the bow and is nice and curvy. Okay, so I'm going to put my violin up into playing position. And then with my bow, I'm going to see if I can put my bow on the string without making any noise at all. Here we go. Okay, let's give it another go. You can try it with me. Place it, doesn't matter which string it goes on, so place it on the string. And then quietly take it off again. Okay, this time we're going to do some nice bowing, some nice long bowing on our G string to start off with. So here we go. And then the D. And finally the A.
Well, I think you've worked really hard today, so I'm going to play a piece to you. This piece is called Rock Across. And once I've played it to you, the music will start again and you can follow the music as it appears on your screen. You'll notice it uses the three notes we've used in today's lesson, that's G, D and A. Follow the highlighted letters and listen to how the sound of the notes change. So, over the next week, see if you can play your instrument every day. Try some of the exercises in the tunes that we've played in today's lesson, especially Rock Across. You can try that with the music. Don't worry if you haven't got it perfect though, we'll go through it again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>